Okay, I'm going to demonstrate a timer setup. This is how we move the cows without having to be here. I'm going to take a white post off the rack on the buggy and my pounder. I'm going to put this post in. It's a five foot post. I'm going to put it in about a foot deep. It's pretty important to try to get it straight if you can. As straight as you can. We're in not quite a foot. Put your tools back where you got them from so the pounder goes back in the rack on the buggy. I'm going to take the timer and I'm going to set it on top of the post here. This bracket right here at the top keeps it from going down any further. And then I'm going to take my counterweight. It's going to raise the fence up. Now you'll notice that it has a, uh, a special kind of a attachment here that I'm going to put on the poly. And you'll also notice that here you have a slot at the bottom of your tube that goes over your post. So basically, my poly's already run. I'm gonna come from underneath and I'm gonna spin the post back like this. So the poly is now hooked on the post. When this raises the fence, there's no way that that poly can come out of there. Now, I'm gonna have the timer towards the poly and then I'm going to take my uh, tube there slide it down over the post and it basically mates with my timer plate there this keeps it uh, together somewhat and then our ring that's tied to the string this is not connected to the poly so you should not get shocked by this hopefully and then you put your ring over your plunger and your u-bolt there and you let go so it's set We've got a counterweight up here. If you're working with a heavy fence, you can pull this pin out and you can move the counterweight up closer to the end of the post. Uh, basically, this is made as short as possible so that storage isn't an issue. Now I've got my pump and I'm gonna screw my pump onto the Schrader valve and I'm gonna give it 10 pumps. Now it depends on how big your air chamber is on your timer. I think this is a 10 inch air chamber and 10 pumps is about right. I'm looking for 40 to 50 pounds. I do think that you can over pump these timers and you can get them, you know, if you put 60, 70 pounds in there, it can cause an internal leak and that timer's basically worthless then. So I'm gonna give it 10 pumps real quick. 10 pumps, you can double check right here and make sure that you put the required amount of air in there. It's 45, 50 pounds of air more or less. And then I'm gonna unscrew this pretty fast so that it doesn't leak out. We're on auto. I will double check my time, 10.03. And I will check my time on my phone and make sure that that's right. And then I will spin this to start time. These cows aren't gonna be in this paddock for very long, so I'm gonna set this for 10.40. Basically hit the minus button here and get down to 10.40. Now something's pretty important. Flip it to how long and make sure that this is anything other than zero. One, two minutes, three minutes, it doesn't really matter. But if it's on zero, this timer will not go off. And then I'm gonna slip it back to auto. Another important point to check is to make sure that your AMs and PMs are right. So it's 10.04 AM. The timer is gonna go off, start time, at 10.40 AM. And then you wanna double check and make sure that you leave it on auto. So if I do a backup real quick, I'll show you what's gonna happen. When we get to 1040, I'll hit the manual button just to demonstrate. When we get to 1040, the timer will go off and release the air charge. The plunger goes down, counterweight pops up. The cows hear that, I don't care. If you're in a really big paddock, they might not hear it. But if this fence is very long, they'll see the fence wiggle, they'll hear the timer go off, and they'll come move to the next paddock. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset it before they get too close. Anyway, that's it in a nutshell. There's a few very important uh, points there as far as double checking to make sure you minimize your human error. That's how we set up a timer and uh, it's pretty reliable and works really well for us.